Okay, we're going to look at fraction. So fraction is actually uh, from the name, it's actually a part of a whole. You can imagine actually a actual pie right, that you have every day. And what I have over here is just imagine this is a pie. And if you cut this pie into four sections, right, like this, and actually what you have is every single section is actually a quarter. But another way of writing a quarter is that this one little section over here is actually 1 over 4. So it's one piece out of a total of four pieces. If the same pie is being cut into eight pieces, like this diagram over here, what you have is each of this one single piece, which is one, is out of a total of eight, which is one over eight. So this is how we actually visualize fraction. All right. Now, if you look very closely to these two diagrams that we've seen just now, all right, this is 1 over 4, this piece over here, one single piece over here. And we always seen one piece of this is actually 1 over 8. But if we look very closely, this size of this 1 over 4, which is 1 quarter, if I take 2 of the 1 over 8, they are actually the same size. So I can actually say that 1 over 4 is actually equal to 2 over 8. Why 2 over 8? Because you have 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, which is 2 over 8. Now, the number that we've used just now, all right, 2 over 8, 1 over 4, all right, if we take the example of 2 over 8, actually there is a mathematical term for it. The number on top is actually called the numerator. And the number at the bottom is actually called the denominator. Now, that means 2 is actually the numerator and the 8 at the bottom here is actually the denominator. Let's take a look at this fraction in a slightly different way. Now, we have just now one whole big piece of pie cut into 8. We also know that one of this single piece is actually 1 over 8. But, if we take eight pieces of this, all these eight little pieces, and we join them up, we actually get one single big pie. All right. So what we have over here basically is eight, one over eight, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Which we know that eight, one over eight is actually eight over eight is actually equal to 1, which is basically one whole piece. All right, so 8 over 8 is actually equal to 1. If we take the same idea and we apply it to the another pie, which is cut into 4 pieces, and 1 piece of it is actually 1 quarter or 1 over 4, then in order to work the same thing out, 4 1 quarter or 1 over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is actually 4 over 4. And this is also equal to 1 because this is 1 whole piece. Okay. Another way to work out this instead of adding them all together is actually to use the multiplication, right? but fraction multiplication is a little bit tricky. Right? So take a look at this. I have one piece which is 1 over 4. This one piece is 1 over 4 and I need 4 of them. So I multiply it 4 times. So 1 over 4 multiply 4. So this star actually, this asterisk here actually is a multiplication. Okay, But any number over 1 
is actually itself. So 4, this number, is actually 4 over 1. Because 4 over 1 is actually 4. Well, so any number that you put over 1 is actually its original number. So it doesn't change anything. Okay, so 4 is actually 4 over 1. And I'll just copy down the 1 over 4. And you still have the multiplication sign. Now when you multiply, you only multiply the top and the top which is the numerator and the numerator and the bottom with the bottom number which is the denominator and the denominator so 1 multiply 4 I'll get this 4 up here and 4 multiply 1 I will get a 4 up here down, down here sorry now what I have is 4 and over 4 and any number over itself is actually a 1 so 4 over 4 is actually or one so that is how we see one whole piece now if you can see four over four is actually a one and you can understand that any number over itself is actually one then you can understand this concept over here so if the numerator and the denominator is actually the same the answer actually is a 1. So we know the numerator is a 1 on top, the number on top, and denominator is the number at the bottom. So as long as these two numbers, the one on top and the one at the bottom, is actually the same, you will get the answer 1. So 3 over 3 is actually a 1, 5 over 5 is actually a 1, even 100 over 100 is still a 1.